I'm going to share a part of our keyword research process that we use to help determine which keywords we should target and evaluate each keyword. So we'll start with just listing out all the keywords we're thinking about, and then we will tag them in three different ways. We'll do it by topic, by intent, and by funnel stage. And this allows us to do some interesting reporting and analysis later on. Uh, so it's important to go through each keyword and tag them so we could kind of categorize the data and summarize it in different ways. Uh, then we'll just pull in some metrics from Ahrefs. So we'll pull in traffic potential, search volume, and keyword difficulty. Um, and once we have these, we'll look at position now. So we'll download uh, from Ahrefs our uh, keyword rankings and then run a formula to look for uh, each keyword and to see where we currently rank for each one. So you'll see that here. Uh, and once we have that, this allows us to run a series of projections. So we're able to estimate how much organic traffic we're currently getting for each keyword. And for that, we're just looking at position. And then based on position, we'll multiply the search volume by a click-through rate uh, for that position. So if we're in position 100, we're not getting any traffic. Uh, if we're on the top of page two for a low volume keyword, we're getting a little bit of traffic. So you can kind of start to see that mapped out. Then what we'll do is we will uh, estimate how much traffic is available if we were in position one. And again, this will be multiplied by a click-through rate that's configurable. Uh, and then this will give us the difference between what we have now versus what is available. So once we have this, we could also then forecast conversion potential for each keyword. So depending on your website's conversion rate, you can uh, configure this and dial in kind of your traffic potential and conversion potential projections for each keyword. Uh, this allows you then to sort. So if you wanted to sort by keywords that uh, have the most conversion potential or traffic potential, you could. So it gives us a nice way to look at the data in a different way. Uh, then what we'll do is we'll score each keyword for the metrics that we looked at on a scale of a zero to five, with five being the best for volume, difficulty, and traffic potential. Uh, and once we do that, we can then average those out to give an overall priority score. Again, I always like to say that these scoring criteria are secondary. The first thing you always want to look at is your audience and, and the intent behind each keyword. Which of these do you feel like make the most sense and are, are right to target? And then you could use some of these additional metrics as more of like a tiebreaker or just a way to sort between uh, equivalent keywords. But it does give you a quick way to have uh, some metrics behind your keyword analysis. So this gives us enough to start really prioritizing and determining which keywords to optimize. Um, but what we like to do next is after pulling all that data, we start to map in um, timeline. So we're estimating which of these keywords we think are quick wins or short term or long term, uh, which can be helpful for setting expectations. Uh, then we'll even map out the tactic we need to use. So do we need a new page and need to create new content? In some cases, we'll be able to do on page optimization. And the other tactic we'll recommend, there's two more typically, one would be SEO testing. Uh, so if there's any keywords where you have good visibility and your click-through rate's low, we'll recommend SEO testing here for title and meta testing. Uh, and then content upgrades as well. So upgrading older content is another tactic that we'll pull into this. So this gives you a quick way to gauge what do you actually need to do to improve your rankings. Uh, and then the final piece to that is actually estimating backlinks. Um, so for backlinks, what we'll do is based on Ahrefs keyword difficulty, we'll estimate how many backlinks you need to have to be on the first page. We'll take a look at how many your website or your page currently has. Normally, the URL would be filled in here. Uh, and then based on that, we'll know the net difference that you need. So we'll know for each keyword approximately how many backlinks you're going to need. So really, we have a complete plan. We have the, the prioritization. We have the timeline. We have the content tactic. And then we have the approximate number of links that we'll need. So... The nice thing about uh, the categories now that we that we did up front, so categorizing by topic, intent, and funnel stage, is then you could make some pivot tables that average some of the metrics by those three categories. So we're going to look at it by topic, but you could easily change this to intent or funnel stage. Um, and then you could make some visualizations based on that data. So here what we have is uh, the topics. So we have topics based on volume and difficulty. So the bottom right would be high volume, low difficulty. So we'll see the wealth category is starting to hit that, that area. So this might be one of the best categories to prioritize in the short term. It's not as difficult as the other, and the traffic potential is pretty high. The debt category uh, has a little bit more traffic potential, but it's a little more difficult as well. So that's something you could evaluate. But these are the top two uh, categories by volume. Now, budgeting is the lowest volume and the highest difficulty. So this might not be something you want to prioritize. 
and you could start to uh, visually see where each category fits. And again, you could swap this by funnel stage or uh, intent as well. You could also do some charts like this, where we look at priority score that we that we analyzed in the previous one. So which ones have the highest priority score? And then which ones need the most backlinks? So we can quickly see, okay, budgeting has the best priority score, but that category as a whole needs a ton of backlinks. Uh, taxic, taxes seem to be a, a much better opportunity. Similar priority score, um, lowest amount of backlinks needed. So again, you could make all these visuals based on uh, all the different metrics we have available in the keyword database here.